Hello folks, welcome back to So Purdy Workshops. <laughs> Most time I'm uh, making videos about fixing something, restoring something, something like that. Uh, but this is going to be a little bit different because uh, I'm really excited about this machine here. Uh, this is, this is a, a great machine. And I had a lot of requests to uh, make a video demonstrating this thing. Um, 1875 a company called Johnson Clark and Company introduced a machine they called the home sewing machine. In 1877 they introduced an improved model and they called it the new home. Uh, we have one of those. We have an 1877 new home that is actually in a home sewing machine cabinet but it is a new home head. It is the improved head. Started to include this in this video just because of the so far that they have came. Um, 1881 or 82 Johnson Clark and Company changed the name to the New Home Sewing Machine Company. Sometime later Japanese company named Janome acquired New Home and New Home was no longer and forever never again an American company. Um, and of course this is a Japanese machine. I usually don't get excited about Japanese machines. This one however uh, blew me away. I didn't know this machine existed. Uh, I've messed with machines for a long time and I didn't know that there was any such thing as this thing. Uh, bought this at an auction for near nothing. Nobody there knew what it was. Nobody wanted to bid on it. I had sent a picture to my aunt, asked her if she was interested in it. Uh, she said sure. She didn't know what it was either at the time. Um, but anyway Let's get into the machine. This is a combi, okay? I don't know if it's going to go out of focus when I try to hold this to the camera, but combi. Uh, oh. All right, basically what we have, I've got to pedal up on the table because it's going to affect me being on the floor here in just a second. Actually, what this machine will do is about anything you want to do that a normal zigzag, uh, some custom stitching and everything else. This isn't what's so exciting about it. The reason my aunt wanted it is because it is a free arm machine. She does a lot of commercial sewing and uh, needs free arms. She hates the new machines. She wants vintage machines. So uh, when I found this, an all metal geared machine, um, she said, uh, sure. All right, what is crazy about this though? All right, is, let's flip this switch. Light goes off over here, comes on on this end. Do this little lever right here and the machine levitates. It has a lazy susan under the bottom of it that lets it spin around. Look here what we got. We have a surgeon. Actually it's a two thread overlocker. Alright. This was built about the time when let's see what we can do here. been cutting sheet metal with my scissors um, you can see right there we got a really really I hope you can see this got a really really nice stitch there um, about the time that a uh, brother and some other Japanese company was trying to come up with a domestic serger that would uh, uh, sell to the average person at home new home Janome uh, came up with this thing uh, this thing's so sweet and uh, it's, it's, it's not heavy. I mean, I'm, I've got bad shoulders and a bad back and I can lift it up sitting here in the chair. Um, this, is, this thing is great. Um, what I understand is uh, New Home built this machine while brother and somebody else was trying to perfect, <laughs> if they can ever perfect anything anymore in our uh, planned obsolescence deal that we've got going on with all the corporations now where anything they make they want it to break just out of warranty um, and this machine luckily uh, I don't see any reason why this machine was designed to break uh, it's one of the few modern machines that I have seen that doesn't seem to have been designed to go give problems uh, they knocked it out of the park with this um, this this is just a two thread overlocker. It's not a four thread uh, surgery overlocking, whatever you want to call it. 
but uh, it is really, really interesting in that they built this machine when the other companies were trying to perfect something that they could sell to the public and uh, using the home as, a, as an overlocker or a serger. And just about the time that this was on the market and sales were picking up, brother got their mess together and uh, was able to make a somewhat dependable serger. And uh, salespeople started pushing two machines instead of this machine. This machine didn't last very long from what I understand uh, on the market. Uh, I made the mistake of promising this one to my aunt, like I said, and uh, my daughter was not very happy uh, when she found out what this machine is, what it can do, and how nice it sews. Um, but anyway, I wanted to demonstrate that real quick and uh, uh, what it is capable of doing. And like I said, I love this Lazy Susan thing we got going on here. It does, it is missing a couple rubber feet under the bottom that I got to get replaced for my aunt, but that's the reason it don't, it still wants to spin a little bit when it's sitting on the table. But anyway, that ain't got to do with the machine. Um, very portable machine. Got the little featherweight flip up bed here. Uh, <laughs> um, I just wanted to share the machine and do a little demonstration of it. Uh, there again, So Pretty Workshops. Look us up on the web, soprettyworkshops.com. Find us on Facebook. Show up for a workshop. We will help you, teach you how to fix your machine, okay? Uh, don't matter if it's a rusty barn find or if it's the uh, 401 Singer that you bought at a thrift store the other day that needs a good cleaning. Um, we do it all. Uh, start to finish, tear the thing all apart, do your rust clean, make the machine sew and look pretty again. And uh, uh, I thank you for watching. Appreciate it. Subscribe to us, please. Uh, that would help. Uh, thanks a lot.